Hello, welcome to Master CFD. In this video, we aim to investigate how CFD tools can help improve efficiency in the agricultural and food industries. First, we give you a whole picture of related applications and then explain a completed industrial project about a greenhouse HVAC analysis and design improvement that is outsourced by one of the Mr. CFD clients. In recent decades, computational fluid dynamics has become one of our promising tools that offer a cost-effective way of carrying out the design process, optimization, and reducing scale-up risks. Particularly, CFD has been gaining attraction in the agricultural and food industry. Various food processing operations such as chilling, drying, freezing, pasteurization, sterilization, greenhouse conditions, and so on, are categorized in the agricultural industry. Thus, the CFD approach to the food industry have provided food engineers with new insight and understanding of optimal performance. For instance, in the following, a whole process of designing a greenhouse carried out by our experts will be explained in detail. In this project, we set the target to design a greenhouse that provides a standard environmental conditions in the summer, such as acceptable temperature range, high air relative humidity, along with low ammonia fraction. On the other hand, several limitations set by the client, like dense vegetation and sensitive plants, led us to have only six rows of longitudinal carriers implemented at two different heights. The greenhouse is occupied with two industrial fans, but they couldn't satisfy the client's demands. Thus, we have completed the mission of providing optimal conditions. The project is done in three steps. In the first step, the greenhouse is simulated with its initial condition considering two industrial fans. After the simulation, the result analysis shows that the volume average temperature the relative humidity and ammonia concentration revealing the greenhouse's critical condition. Also, the extracted temperature and velocity contours show the inefficient ventilation system that didn't have the ability to recirculate air effectively and the bulk air remains constant except around the fans region. So, this couldn't satisfy either of the criteria. In the second step, a water-cooled air conditioner is proposed to be installed in front of the fans on the opposite wall of the greenhouse to help air circulation and decrease the temperature along with increasing humidity. The mentioned idea was applied, and the results show an improvement in two factors. Therefore, it is suggested to increase the inlet velocity of the air conditioner, but as mentioned, the plants are very sensitive and can be harmed by direct contact with high-speed air. So, we have faced another limitation here, leading to the relocation of the air conditioner. Considering the objectives and limitations, we have proposed to install the water-cooled air conditioner close to the ceiling. Thus, it would be possible to increase the velocity and benefit from the natural convection as well. As a result, all targets were achieved. Importantly, the temperature contour illustrates how the air circulation significantly improved, all rows experienced similar conditions, and the plants were not in direct contact with high-speed airflow, preventing any probable damage.